so we're back collectively i think all of this is like 500 dollars, just been sitting in the corner over there and today we're gonna open it all up show you guys what i've been sitting on this just came in the mail today this i think just came in the mail like a month ago one of these packages came in the mail like the other day so you know bits and pieces here and there some of these have been here as long as like two months so uh we'll get into it this i went and got in the mall like i think two months ago as well so let's go ahead and break these packages open and show you what i got starting off with the box lunch i got this at the mall the other day maybe about like like i said a month two months ago so i have voodoo ranger which i thought was pretty funny it has a 21 plus at the top I've never really seen that. That's like new for Funko Pop. They're trying to make like adult branded stuff. So I thought this was pretty sick. I don't really drink Voodoo Rangers, but my friend Daniel does. So I had to get that. When I saw it, I thought it was very funny. And then I went to GameStop. I had to go ahead and pick up myself some Scarlet and Violet. I think this is, um, what is it, like a pack of six booster packs? And a uh, pack of six or a pack of five. But anyways, you know, whenever I see that, I got to get it. Now, lo and behold, this one's actually really f cool. This is, oh, what is his name, Ryu, Rui? Um, so, anyways, this is the glowing version. It is a t-shirt bundle pack, and it is a size 2XL, so it actually fits me. Um, I really wanted the glow-in-the-dark version of him just because if there's like a special variant of a Funko Pop, I'll usually try and get that special variant rather than the normal one. Because the normal one's pretty lame compared to the special variant, just my opinion. And, uh, you know, I've gotten got by Funko enough times to where I, I, I'll always try and get the special variant now. And uh, the shirt is actually really cool. I like this Funko Pop, so I will be opening it and wearing the shirt. So this is uh, very cool, in my opinion. So from Box Lunch, we have the Rui Glow in the Dark t-shirt bundle, which I got for retail. And then I got this from Box Lunch, but the Voodoo Ranger. And then uh, this isn't a Funko Pop, but you know, it's always fun to include this. I'll open it on another day, but Scarlet and Violet cards. So anyways, GameStop, you have let me down again. Look at the fucking packaging on this shit. This is terrible. This is, uh, this is terrible. You know, I, I am not satisfied with this at all. This is broken, bro. This is the worst pop I've ever received. It is an, oh, such a cool Funko too. Oh my god. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and try and file a return real quick. Hold on. Alright, so we're all good. This is actually gonna get refunded. So we'll throw that to the side. That's a piece of shit. And uh, funny the funny thing is, I actually just hopped on GameStop and bought another one. So hopefully the next one that comes is better. Ah! Oh, this one seems to have a little damage, but nowhere near as bad as the other one was. Oh, still though, damn. Let's see what it is. Inuyasha. Ses Homaru. I believe that's how you pronounce the name. Ooh, excuse me. This is glow in the dark. I thought this was a really cool pop. My girlfriend's uh, close friend watches this show. I've only watched like maybe one or two episodes, but I thought this was a cool character. And, uh, you know, it was in stock, so I was like, why not? It doesn't hurt. No, pretty cheap. And then we do have one more. And of course, oh my. Bruh, you gotta be fing kidding me. Maybe it's saved. Maybe it's saved. Probably not. Oh, we'll see right now. And. No, it's beaten to a crisp. Dang. Well, back to the GameStop.com. Well, we're back again. And, uh, you know, I was able to go ahead and file a refund for Bubbles. So we're going to just go ahead and toss him on the couch over there, too, with the other Funko Pop. Gosh, this is terrible. Anyways, we have a lot more Funko Pops here to... Funko Pops here to open up, so let's not let that get us down. We're going to go ahead and look at this one real quick again. Very badass. 
and then let's look at the skateboard. So the skateboard actually was kind of a new one for me. I've never bought a Funko skateboard before and uh, it was actually pretty cheap. So I figured, you know, whatever. And when I say cheap, I really mean cheap. These Funko skateboards tend to usually be about $80, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, anyways, on GameStop.com, it was literally like $30. It was crazy. I was like, you know what, 30 bucks is pretty cheap for me not to get one if I'm ever gonna get one. Um, I used to skateboard when I was younger, so I thought it was pretty cool. So on one side, if you've never seen a Funko skateboard, it's completely bland, nothing on it. And then the other side, you have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So it says Turtle Power at the top, Funko LLC, GameStop sticker. And then the sticker is actually on the plastic. So when you take the plastic off, the sticker will come off as well. Then it has the turtles, riding a skateboard, cowabunga. At the bottom, Nickelodeon, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, yada, yada, yada. Anyways, I thought the skateboard was really, really cool. I'm going to put it over here for the time being. But because I have the whole original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles set, and then I also have over here Casey Jones and Splinter. The only one I'm missing is actually Shredder and April O'Neil. But it doesn't really matter. You know, I could get them at any time in the future. Their price isn't jumping crazy, crazy. It's kind of stuck where it's at, I believe. In the $40 to $60 range is where they're at. Go ahead and toss this in the trash. But uh, anyways, besides those two broken Funko Pops, we have one intact Funko Pop. Let's get into the rest now, shall we? So to help go ahead and speed the video up, I opened these boxes up already. Just to kind of, you know, speed it up. I don't want to have you guys watching me open boxes for like 10 minutes. So in this first box up here, we have a very cool one. I kind of forgot that I even bought this. It's been so long since it came out. Let's go ahead and take it out. Uh, unlike GameStop, Interterm Entertainment Earth actually knows how to store stuff with care. Glow in the Dark Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black. This is awesome. Now, I did meet Sean Schemmel. He's a very nice actor. Um, besides all the controversy, he's very nice in person, the one altercation I had with him. So, you know, still very OG voice actor. So, go ahead and put that right there. And then in here, we have none other than... Tanjuro Kamado, which is supposed to be um, Tanjiro's dad, but when you watch the new season of Demon Slayer, it's kind of confusing, and if you're someone like me, I've purposely not read the manga, because when I watch the anime, I want to like be spoiled, or not spoiled, I want to be um, shocked, I want the shock value to be there, and if I know what's happening, the shock value is not going to be there as much, so... Um, I'm purposely just watching the anime, but yeah, anyways, that's who this character is. Very cool, uh, triple-A anime exclusive, but you would buy it on Entertainment Earth. I don't even know if you could still buy him. Um, I bought him a while back. He's just been sitting in a box for a minute. But, uh, so that's those two. And then over here, we got some more Demon Slayers. Go ahead and put this up. Oh, Ooh. Probably easier if I uh, both my hands. Anyways, this one's really cool. Anyone who likes Demon Slayer should really get this. It is the final selection guides. Or, oh, there is a fly in here. Ugh. I swore I smacked it right now, but I end up smacking this. Sorry about that. Anyways, the final selection guides, they are the master of the Demon Slayer's uh, children. And this is the glow in the dark. I don't know if there's one that's not glow in the dark, but as far as I know, you know, this is the only one that exists. But it is a part of the new line, so I thought this was pretty cool. It does have a bit of a groove in the top, but you know, I don't care. Like this is nothing compared to those hideous things over there that are gonna get returned to GameStop. And then we have but another Demon Slayer Funko Pop. Their father. 
Kagaya Ubuyashiki, I think is how you pronounce it. I'm so sorry, but yeah, this is the master of the Demon Slayers. So this is their dad. So he's the father of them. And uh, all this is actually from Demon Slayer, so I'll just put that all up real quick. But yeah, this has just been chilling in boxes for a minute. And now it's finally exposed. And then we also got the Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black. And as always, I will show the glow in the darks at the end. So next up, we got this giant Funko box. I went ahead and opened it up already to kind of make it a little bit easier. And uh, we'll start with the smaller Funko Pops first. So first off, we have Mitsuri. Kanroji, I think is how you pronounce it. Oh, I feel like I just butchered her name so badly. But uh, another one of the main characters from Demon Slayer. She's so badass in the new uh, in the new season that just came out. And uh, there's nothing special for her Funko Pop. She's just a normal, normal Funko Pop, which they're going to make a ton of her. And uh, they'll probably make like a special version of her eventually. But I just wanted to get the normal one. I just thought that the way they did her was so good. And... Uh, I mean, in the in the anime, you know, the way that she is, I feel like they captured that as a Funko Pop for her. So I figured, you know, why not get that one? The next one is also from Demon Slayer. This one is Kano Suyuri, I think. Oh, I don't even want to say these names anymore. That's how bad I feel like I'm doing at it. But anyway, she's another main character from Demon Slayer. Really badass. This one's a glow-in-the-dark version. I got it from, uh, obviously, the Funko shop. And, uh, yeah, you know, this is a pretty cool version of her. I felt like, you know, I didn't want to get, like, just the normal version right there. I wanted the glow in the dark. So that's why I got this one. And then this next Funko Pop we got is Jiren from Dragon Ball Z. And this is a glow in the dark version. I don't know. Ah, so the normal one is just him standing. This special edition one has the flames and is glow in the dark. So... That's the difference. Um, I thought it was pretty cool, and it was in stock when I was just surfing online. So I bought it. I added them to my order. I thought it was very, very cool. And uh, over here, we have a very cool Funko Pop for my girlfriend, actually. She loves this character. Um, and I figured this is the perfect Funko Pop to get her. It is Rapunzel and Flynn, and then even has um, the little gecko thing. I forget his name, but she knows his name. Um, but anyways, this is the boat scene when they're both in the boat and they're just conversating and they're letting all the candles go into the air for her birthday. And you can see she's holding the candle thing. And I mean, they're lanterns actually, not candles, lanterns, but, uh, this is the lantern scene and it's a very, very cool Funko Pop. I thought it was really cute and, uh, my girlfriend liked it a lot. So it's actually been sitting in this box. She's been asking about it and, uh, I've been telling her, Oh, you know, I need to make a video. I need to make a video. And, uh, now I can finally give it to her. So here's one of the Funko Pops that was in the box. So next up, we got this one from Chalice Exclusives or Chalice, <laughs> Chalice Collectibles. Oh my gosh. And uh, so this is a pretty cool one. So this is, if you know, you know, oh, he's such a cool character from uh, My Hero Game. And he is twice. This is the chase. And they had a deal going, I believe it was for 70 or 65, something like that. Or it could have even been 75. Um, but you got both for the price of 75. So I really like this deal because twice his special ability, he can make duplicates of himself. So this is awesome. So now you have the real twice who's all injured, his chase. And then, of course, he has his, his duplicate, which is, you know, normal in the anime. So that's really cool have that on display soon and then right here i love attack on time but for the most part all of the fungal pops are extremely expensive i was not into Funko pops at the time when they were coming out all the cool ones so uh, thank god i was able to get this one off of chalice it is the glow in the dark female tie-in i thought this was really cool and uh, it is a giant pop it's a six inch so i'll go ahead and put it right there for comparison next to the normal size pops, but yeah, it's a, it's a bigger, it's a bigger pop. And my cat's jumping on the table. Crazy cat. But yeah, so these are from Chalice. Let's go ahead and get into the other box. This Funko Pop, on the other hand, came out recently. And I missed it out. I missed out on it on the uh, Funko Shop. 
but I saw that the um, shared retailer was Spirit and I went on to their online website and guess what? It was not sold out yet. If you want this Funko Pop, I strongly recommend you run to Spirit like as fast as possible. Um, actually, let me take this out with more care. I'm just kind of like turning it on its side. Because this Funko Pop, whether you want to believe it or not, I think is going to be a holy grail in the future. And that is Victor and Emily. And then even the little skeleton dog is there. But this is like the cutest little pop moment. And it has a Spirit Halloween sticker on there. But I bought this directly from Spirit's online website. So if you want this Funko Pop for retail, which is $40, $39.99, go ahead and hop onto their website. Because I know this did sell out pretty fast on the Funko website. But I still was able to get one. So this is really, really cool. So I actually even got this for my girlfriend as well. So... I'll put that with her other Funko Pop. So she likes Rapunzel and Flynn a lot, and then she also likes Corpse Bread. So two pop moments for her, which are really, really cool pop moments. Let's go ahead and get into the final two boxes. So let's go ahead and get into this last box. So this last box is from Funko. I thought I had some pretty unique stuff on the Funko shop the other day, but I was a little bit mad because uh, they actually canceled one of the things I had ordered. I had added the new Crow uh, Funko Shop exclusive to my order. And then about like a week later, they canceled it. And they said that, oh, we don't have it no more. And I was like, what the heck? So let me go ahead and take these out as well. It's weird. These are in boxes. And... Oh, okay. I know what this is. I had actually bought this for my um, my grandma and my aunt. Let's go ahead and check out all this stuff. So, for starters, this one was a must for me. You know, I have so much Naruto, so of course I'm going to get this. Um, the cheapest place I found this was on the Funko Shop. I believe it was 20 bucks. Um, Naruto Baryon, Baryon Mode, I think is how you pronounce it. But uh, yeah, it glows in the dark. The damn thing is six inches. It's pretty cool. And then, you know, when you compare this one next to like another one like this, which yes, it's signed by Mel Flanagan. You know, it's a uh, pretty decently sized, but yeah, there goes my cat playing with the uh, bubble wrap. Come on, go away. Now they're all out of the box. So let's go ahead and break this down. So these are the two that were in the two mini boxes. Elvis in a Pharaoh suit, Diamond Edition, Amazon exclusive. Very cool. I thought that this was a really cool Elvis pop. And it even has the other Elvis ones in the back. But this is for my grandma. I'm going to get that to her for Christmas. And this is for her sister, which is my aunt. Same exact thing, because they're the type of people that if you get one for one, the other one needs the same thing, because she feels left out. So why not just get two of the same thing and... Boom, now Christmas present, Christmas present. And then over here we have from Jujutsu Kaisen, Kento Nanami. Such a badass character, you know, he's a must. And uh, Funko Shop exclusive, those are the best to get. In my opinion, those are always, you know, keepers. And, um, you know, he's even holding the, um, shoot, what do they call them? They call them like enchanted weapons or like, you know, they're like spirit weapons, but super cool. And it's a uh, Funko exclusive, if I didn't say that enough times already. And over here is the enemy of Jujutsu Kaisen, Mahito, a BAM exclusive. And uh, you can see that the BAM exclusive has his weapons coming out of his hand, while the normal one does not. I wasn't planning on getting him, but I saw that Funko's online store had him in stock. So I was like, you know what? It doesn't hurt. I love Jujutsu Kaisen. I literally have... Like, all the characters, you know, I even have them signed. And, uh, so, you know, it's kind of stupid not to have the villain. So, I had to get that, of course, with Kento. And then over here, I had to get... I do not like the new Indiana Jones movie, so don't get me twisted. Like, I'm not supporting that. But this is his outfit when he's in the movie with Short Round. I believe it's called Temple of Doom. It's a Funko exclusive, which is another reason why I wanted it. But just such a cool Indiana Jones Funko Pop. 
This is my first Indiana Jones Funko Pop. And uh, I'm not going to get any other ones. I just wanted that one. Because Short Round came out this year. And this is his first Funko Pop. And Short Round goes with that, you know, Indiana Jones. So it makes sense. It's perfect to have them together. And, uh, yeah, you know. A throwback to the good old movies when Indiana Jones was made to entertain people. But, uh, yeah, that's about everything. I ended up realizing that the other box was filled with Lego sets. So I'm going to make a separate video on all those Lego sets. I didn't really want to make it all confusing and do Legos and Funko in the same video. But let me put all these on the table just to see what we got. Now, $500 may be a little bit of an overestimate. I think this comes closer to about the high threes, the little fours. Um, I already made the... Uh, the picture for the video so i'm just gonna put the one that says the 500 hundred dollar uh caption in it i don't care i'm lazy but anyways these are all the funko pops out on the <laughs> on the table including the um skateboard and then the piece of shit broken ones i just wanted to include them because these were actually supposed to be in this video i did not plan on these being broken and so badly packaged by gamestop screw you gamestop you having no care for Funkos, because I'm pretty sure if you were to call someone at GameStop, they'd say, oh, well, the figure on the inside's okay, but the box is not okay, and that's what matters. So those two don't really count, but they count, because, I mean, I did pay for them. I have to go refund them now, take them to a GameStop, and I have this paper I had to print out. So, yeah, anyways, I will get fixed versions of these, but through the line, we have... The female Titan, Victor and Emily, Rapunzel and Flynn, uh, Naruto, Kento, Mahito, another version, another version of Goku, Jiren, Kagaya, Mitsuri, Kano, Tan, Tanjuro, and then the uh, daughters of the uh, Master from Demon Slayer or the Final Selection Guides, uh, Rui, and then down here we have the Indiana Jones short round, and then Indiana Jones from Temple of Doom. Another thing I've noticed about these Temple of Doom or Indiana Jones Funko Pops is they are bobbleheads. Just like um, Marvel and just like all the Disney Pops. Um, little known fact is that only Disney and Marvel Pops are... Um, actually, I don't know if Disney Pops are, but I know that um, Marvel and Star Wars Pops... I'm sorry, Marvel and Star Wars Pops are the only Pops to have bobbleheads. So that's really interesting to see that they are actually bobbleheads and not vinyl figures. As you can see, vinyl figures, they do not have the springs. They have like an actual turning radius head as these are like actual metal bobbles. But yeah, anyway, short round, Indiana Jones from the Temple of Doom outfit. These two Elvis Ferro suits, um, the Twice and the Twice Chase. Um, says so, says Shoham, says, oh my God. Says Shomaru, says Shomaru, I think that's how you pronounce that one. And then Voodoo Ranger. Um, so all in all, you know, I hope you enjoyed the video. Obviously, you know, it wasn't as much as I anticipated. I thought that another one of my boxes was filled with Funko Pops because I was supposedly, I was supposed to be getting another package from Chalice and that would have made it 500, but that box ended up being filled with Legos. And, uh, so that's for another video, but I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's go ahead and do the glow in the darks real quick and then we'll close out the video. All right. Let's go ahead and charge her up. Ah, that one looks really cool. So that is the female Titan. Over here we have Naruto. Oh, he looks crazy. He looks really crazy. So over here we have Sasomaru. So that one's just her staff. That one's okay. This one is that black Goku, the Goku Black. That one's pretty cool, his hair and his eyeballs. This one's Gyron. There's a damn fly in here. So for Gyron, it is the red thing. That's actually behind him. Canal. Oh, she has a really good glow in her. That one's really cool. Let's go ahead and see Rui. Ooh. Damn, he has a really good glow. I'm telling you, he is worth it. Do not get the normal version. And then you have these ones, the final selection guides, 
which is just their lanterns. So those are all the glow in the darks. I hope you guys enjoy the video and I will catch you guys next time.